Welcome back guys to East Origin, where last episode we entered the Blighted Blood, where after a long period of exploration we came face to face with Dales, the man running the show inside this demonic tower. With the other Holy Knights of East showing up to assist, they found themselves turned into stone by the overpowering sorcerer before them, as now we attempt to undo his curse. I fell. That was not my intention. They are gambling on masks to get me. It's fine, I have my stupid abilities of power. I actually got poisoned? And then they could do that. Oh, getting another level up isn't looking unfeasible, would it? So I wouldn't mind it, that's for sure. Let go of my charge attack here then. So, what do you want me to do? I don't want to accidentally hit people, so I'm going to face this way. <laughs> use this item? Yes. Yellow has no power. That's why I try to use the thing. I have to take it back, don't I? Can't just use it right here, right now. Alright, let's take it back and see what they say and then see if that is the trigger. We can't just take it and go and insert it ourselves then. After all, we're supposedly all brawn no brains. Lady Fina! Ninika, welcome back. Lady Fina, I got it! You see, it certainly does contain a lot of energy. This may just be enough to undo the curse. Really? Oh, thank goodness! Just when I thought Hugo had gone rogue, he swoops in at random and saves the day. I guess he has his moments after all. Yeah, no kidding! Alright, let's get the Dreaming Idol infused with the energy from that Black Pearl replica. Unica, would you please set both artifacts on the ground in front of me? No, okay. Here we go. It goes right here! Ah! I could have not done that. <laughs> Dreamy Idol has been fully powered. Perfect slot. And with that, the two artifacts are now one. It's quite impressive. I don't think there's another soul in this world that could do what you just did, save for Lady Rhea. The jewel's energy should now be channeled directly into the idol itself. So it's ready to be used on Roy and the others. It is. Just hold it aloft in their presence and the artifact should do the rest. Hurry now. There's no time to lose. I'm on it! Thank you, Lady Fina! I love you! <laughs> Whatever am I gonna do with that girl? She's a handful, alright, but I have to admit, enthusiasm is infectious. I feel a lot more optimistic just looking at her. Indeed, and yet she has no magical ability whatsoever. Even the most basic spells of daily life are beyond her. Then I suppose magic is born in the Black Pearl. Perhaps Unica's heart is simply too pure for it. Too devoid of demons. I could tell she was special the very first time we met, and she grows more special by the day. Well, that's a nice way of looking at it. It's an interesting way of looking at it, isn't it? She can't cast magic. Because her heart is devoid of evil, and she is just pure. That's pretty damn cool. She doesn't have the usual vices and thoughts of humanity, which make up normal humans. Just pure. Off we go then. I fell again! Oh 
I'm very good at this not falling into the pit of enemies, am I? Maybe that shockwave will send them off kill them, they'll die that way now. <laughs> oh well, we have our Dreaming Idol. It's all ready to go, so... Hold it up. Dazzling light shone forth from its forehead. Like mine. Ugh. What? What happened? It worked, it really worked! How are you feeling, Roy? Does it hurt at all? N not really. Though I definitely don't feel like myself just yet. And I'm sure I'll hurt like hell once this numbness wears off. Well, at least you're better off now than you were a minute ago, I guess. We all are, thanks to you. I must say, I'm very impressed. As am I. I owe you my life. We all in your debt, Sir Unikotoba. You've once again surpassed all expectation and done the Holy Knights proud. Oh, please, I don't deserve your praise. I wasn't able to keep you from being turned to stone in the first place, after all. Honestly, it's pure dumb luck that I was able to save you, and I couldn't have done it without help from Lady Fina, Dino, and Hugo. Hmm. Well, I think you did great. You resisted the overpowering urge to charge headlong at the enemy, totally defying your usual animal instincts. I'm not a bore, you know. <laughs> Helping Unica grow and mature as a knight is almost worth being turned to stone, if you ask me. Unica. I think you should know that before Commander Tova departed for the surface, he wrote me a letter. He did? Yes, and I can still recall exactly what it said. He said that every man, woman, and child has an important role to play in life. It doesn't matter how powerful or influential we may be. Our time to shine will always come, without fail. And until it does, all we can do is wait. When the moment is right, we will hear the call. It's how we answer that call that determines our strength of character. That's the battle we fight against the weakness in our hearts. In my grief at his passing, I'd put that letter out of my mind. But your words have reminded me of his. You're doing what you know you were destined to do, just as he did. And I believe my destiny lies ahead as well. Commander, you've uncovered your own strengths, Sir Unikotova, and shown them to us all. We may learn from your example. In my naivety, I've nearly rendered your father's sacrifice in vain. And now I know what I must do, or we all must do. Thank you, Unica. Thank you for opening our eyes and saving our lives. You are a true holy knight in every sense. I, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, allow me then. Our bodies are no longer stone, but the curse took its toll on us. I believe we should withdraw for now. We must give ourselves a chance to rest and recover. In our current state, we'd only be holding you back. Agreed. My body still feels heavy and swollen. I'm not confident I'd be able to handle myself in combat just yet. We shall undergo a thorough regiment of healing magic, then rejoin you here in the upper levels. In the meantime, Unica, we'll leave the search for Lady Rare in your capable hands. Y yes sir! On that note, I believe you'll need this. Receive the Mantid Medallion. Mantises. Take care. May fortune be on your side. Thanks. Hope you all feel better soon too. So they're all cured. But well, we know what we're facing next then. That Dallas fellow is far more dangerous than we had imagined. Be on your guard if you encounter him. You've really grown fast, Unica. So much more confident and resourceful than you were even a day ago. You brought great honor to the Holy Knights. Thank you for all your help. Thank you, Unica. I owe you one in a big way. What's wrong? I, I'm just not used to hearing you say things like that. I mean, you're always treating me like a little kid and making fun of me. It's not like you to thank me so seriously, or at all, really. Oh, come on. I might tease you a lot, but I hope you know by now that I don't mean it. Well, you hardly ever have a single kind word to say about me. And sometimes you even say things that embarrass me. I'm always acting like you're my big brother, looking out for his little sister because she can't look out for herself. And I guess you owe you some thanks for that. What? Well, that's certainly a turnaround. What's the deal? Well, you're the one who told me to go get Dad's sword. And that's what gave me the strength to keep going. 
All I did was give you an excuse. The rest was up to you, and I knew you'd go for it. Roy. Uh, anyway, I never did properly congratulate you on being knighted. So, congratulations, you did it. You made your dream come true. Uh, thank you. I, uh, I told myself before that once you became a true knight, if you ever become a true knight, I, uh, I would... You would... What? Uh, now's not the time. I'll tell you later. Be careful up there, Unica. Oh, okay. I will. Thanks. I don't want to talk to you. I want to speak to Commander Galleon. We're going to talk proud, Unica. Until we get back to the search ourselves, I'm counting on you to continue in our place. I have every faith in your abilities. Careful up there, Unica. I'll join you as soon as I'm able. Was there a proposal going on there? Let's make it our movement, though. Shall I bless my legs? 6k, why not? Defense plus one. Stop warping! Just accept your fate. Did that do zero damage because my armor actually managed to guard it? Nice. Which direction do I go from here? Top left, yeah? I'm seriously having to like remember. Just because it cuts you in the blood. I think it went in the blood. Or wherever it is. Is it blood, was it? I can't remember what it said it was. I think it said it was blood. It's a blood ocean. To be honest, the spells are only doing one damage now. And to be honest, I've earned most of the leg in chat back already. So really, I'm getting SP like crazy now. Especially when you can get this group by that. Joyous time. Well, oh, actually, went low. That works out. Ow. One down, two down. Nearly my leg in Jan completely afforded, isn't it? Those lasers hurt a lot more than I'd like them to, though. So we went this way and we found Hugo. Is he still there, maybe? Just hanging out in that alleyway. I reckon he's moved on, to be honest. Yeah, he's gone. Let's go the correct way. Oh, we're about to level up as well. Well, I'll take that level. Those guys were nuked into oblivion. Let's continue along this outside corridor. And see where it will take us. Give me any more Clario coming on or anything like that. I'm reckoning to find a save stone around here somewhere. Or just let that guy be wiped out in one wave of complete and utter destruction. They have a small homing element too of those lasers they fire. Like they've repositioned mid flight. I'm supposed to jump over all of these. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gather up every enemy this side. And let it go. Works right.
the AOE strats. Make the mask fall. Go to work and get the goods. Now, of course, I'll lose that experience ball blow now. And every weapon upgrade I get just makes this more stupid. Which is the crazy we get going on here. Nothing can stand amongst the purifying Phoenix Flames. In whatever application I wish to use, in fact. I was actually expecting that guy to be dead, but one more tap will take him out. And I'm um, 27k SP, so I can definitely get another upgrade when we reach our next goddess statue. Oh wow, we're on corridors. None of these enemies stand a chance down a straight line. Come down here, people. Come down, I promise I won't kill you. Honest. I actually got hit. Trying to gather him up for a nice bit of AoE nuking as we get ourselves another Ruby, which probably boosts our firepower to its strongest level now. The mage lasers over there, it's been a bit annoying. End him. You can end that man's whole career. He died. Every so often throwing some normal melee for sport. Nice deflection, but I'll take a level up just as we might reach a door to a boss. You never know. Hang on, where are the save points now? 34k. So my imagination are we advancing higher up this tower at uh, significantly faster pace all of a sudden. Then you regret saying that as it looks like we start heading downwards after. They really didn't think about the balancing for the, uh, the actual cost for this ability, I think. Because it costs a lot less to spam fire. But it does other things, that's for sure. But I guess the fire hits left. I guess it's that. Well, that's our goddess statue. Really, that's nothing. Hit up all that way, going, oh, that'll be cool. Alright, let's remove the curse there. Into the Manted Room. Another boss awaits us. Alright, do I increase the item drop rate or do I go for something like bad stats resist? Which I think would be a lot... I think that'd be handier. By a mile. That said, I don't think we actually get bad stats that often. And I don't think it actually does 
silly damage, but equally we'll have enough points to increase drop rate. I think it's just dropping the the things for Maybe it does herbs as well, to be fair. I don't actually know. But I think it's mainly just like the strength and defense edition. We don't even get to use them on bosses. Oh, we're level 40 all of a sudden. Well, let's find out what's on our next boss room. See if it has the power to take me down. I felt like I walked then. Well, before we do anything, we should probably go with the fire sword just because ranged battles seem to be the way the bosses play out. And this is a big room. Pictimos the Glim Mantis has a big attack himself. That's quite a lot of evil things. I guess I could stay at range and uh, nuke through him with that. But he's deliberately trying to close the ground, I'd like to point out. Oh, that's nice. That was actually a nice attack when I look at it. Whoa! You've launched laser beam satellite mantis bits. Now what? He's got even more needles now! <laughs> My actual thing didn't reach. Does seem like this is my premier method of attack now, doesn't it? I don't want to get anywhere near close to a boss. Now what are you doing? Seems like if I just run away, I'll be fine. the head I want to do or something else because it seems like if I hit mid body I actually do more damage oh we got ads they better not be undead ah mantis children are coming that's a lot of mantis babies equally that's a lot of damage we can put out did they just climb on her Kill more mantis babies. Yeah, staying at range and nuking. Definitely working out really well for me. That didn't actually get me. Oh, that did. Feel like I haven't really taken much of a tune now. That even is my goal here. I wonder if their point is to actually block attacks, or no, they're actually just to spawn me if I get too close. Time to finish this. No, what? She consumed her babies? Oh, I'm getting hit now because of that. I'm on tilt. Babies are gonna eat over time. Right, we are lowering the amount of HP she's got. I'm getting hit, and I don't like it. No, 
know she got more babies out. If she gets a net gain of HP, I'll be really annoyed. Didn't really look like I could clear out the amount of babies that are around. I've just got to kill her now, really, haven't I? So let's go for the throat. Ah! I'm shouting again, aren't I? I know I am. You be spewing your mantis babies at me! I shout too much when I'm in a boss fight. Especially an East boss fight. My crazies take me. Gross. It's eating its babies to get its HP back. The crystal's power purified the demon statue. Now how far are we in? I mean, I could get another reduced bad stats duration thing, but if I've bolstered bad stats resist to its highest level, maybe that's not even an actual thing at this point. Still quite a bit for me to go by, look at it though. Four more save points to reach. Did I not save? Suddenly a voice could be heard echoing forth from the Lila shell. Unica, can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. Is everything okay? Yes, yes, don't worry. I just wanted to let you know the knights have all arrived back at base safe and sound. That's good. I'm glad to hear it. But then it's also reported in from R Rado's annex. It's still going to take some time to dispel the barrier around Lady Fina, apparently. Uh, okay, is there anything I can do to help them? What about that? Commander Galleon wanted me to pass a message along to you. I think you should proceed to the Tower of Summit on your own for now. Uh, all the way to the top, on my own! Yes, he seems very confident in your abilities. But he also wants to make sure you take care not to act rashly. You're bound to run into some serious danger up there. Well, okay. I'll do what I can. Thank you, Unica. Best of luck to you. I can only imagine the soldiers themselves have wandered through these corridors. They've wandered through each corridor, and they've kind of gone along the way, like, well, this looks like a boss arena, but there's no boss for us to fight. Great. And they, they don't know the horrors that she has fought her way through. <laughs> right, you. That guy does not take fire damage. Big SP crystals we've got going there. Chunks they are. Thank God the guard ability in there. Lasers instead. Can't do any damage to them with that. Those are definitely the guys I want to use fire. I got those guys. Got Bob Penny over there. Ow. I just want to check their weakness and got got by that one. Alright, well that's a fair few of enemies taken care of. A level up is soon to come. These guys seem to be somewhat. Imagine from you. Melee's the best thing for them. Man, they give me a lot of goodies. Look at the SP just rack up there. Maybe I want to continue with the fire nuke for them, though. Ooh, 
lasers! Thank you for those herbs. Getting a lot of experience from fighting these. Great. Two of them. Should get them both, yep. These are kind of more facts, fixed battlement type enemy formations in some senses. That was too high! Wow, did that guy hit me for 50? Or was that me picking up something for 50? I don't even know, but they're spawning more and more of these. And I'm ill or something? I'm cursed or poisoned, I don't know which. Well, whatever happened, the status has gone away. And I've run out of my blooming experience in the meantime, because I forgot about it. The fact that I can launch that attack from there is always me. Well, let's find what enemies are waiting for me over here. At least I've got good knockback, but these guys can get close if they want to. I won down, gave me a herb, lovely. I know that can block some attacks, but not really all. Bit of a weird place because we could jump down on that. No, we could actually jump across to get somewhere else entirely. I'm assuming that's to another room. Yeah, that looks like it's going to some other area. Kind of level up again now. I'm not letting you cast on me, don't be silly. And then we enter Slime Central. We chugged a load of fireballs down the alley. Look at that SP game! I guess it's not too unreal to think you could get 500,000 as we pick up a road of fruit. Must be another room on this floor too then. Right, we're looking for like the final items now. So the best kind of gear. Best armor. Maybe one more clary ore. Did I kill him? No. Nope. What? Still not? He's trying to get to me. He knows I'm messing with him. So we need to kill these three guys. That's a lot of boomerangs, man. Oh wow, that hit me! Let's go from safe spots into the fight. Wow, how'd I miss that? How'd I miss that jump? Seeming they go around. As long as I don't move too much and just jump over the first bit, the boomerang can't hit me on the way back. We should be safe. Whee! Anti-grab! Well, that's a direction two. But you can actually jump out there, so if I just go like that, I'll make the jump a lot easier. Hey, there he is! Little Rubu! Hopefully he's not going to turn evil and try to kill us. 
Rue appears to be hungry, of course. I wouldn't have expected to find one of you guys here. I guess our destinies must be linked or something. Give it a rotor fruit. What the? Search of power came welling up from within. Yunuka is now able to use burst. A sudden devastating release of boost energy constitutes a burst. When in burst mode, press the boost key a second time. Burst can be used at any time while boosted. A powerful area effect attack radiates Munika's body, damaging all who touch it. Wow, it's like my insides are boiling with power. But it doesn't hurt. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I promise I'll make it up to you someday. We now have ultra powered boost. Yeah, now I'll make that jump. Question is, when will I try it? And I've got such good ranged options. There's a lot of the abilities we have anyway right now. Oh hello! And so he came from the sky. The whole dodge factor that's so good. Where'd the other guy go? There he is. So I'm assuming we want to make it up on high run and go this way, but... Oh, lots of these guys! Here would have been a, not a bad place to use it, but I leveled up. When there's less of them, we can just go in for standard melee a lot easier. Stuns them after all, even if it's slow. That's a path. Hey, where do I go first then? Up top, over there. I mean, it might just be a treasure chest over here. Ah! Monsters. I might have to use the anti crafting to come up. That's not how this works. It almost seems as there's another world on the other side of the mirror. But a powerful force would prevent any of you from stepping within. Mirrors! Oh no! Right, you don't want to get near these guys. Let me help. Well, there you go, Spinny. It's bad. Not the mirror madness again. It's gonna happen. Let's just try to fight that guy off so then I can move forward and attack the other one. Is there two of them? A bit worried about that now. And I missed the attack. Some more levels will really help me out with that though. I should hit both. So the fall down gets me into a lovely slime corridor. Looks like I'm gonna have to fall down though. So the splitting begins. Oh no, maybe I don't have to fall down. There's a door. There's a pathway. A pathway to a weird platform that seems like definitely I want to be doing something with that in the future. Yes, you can stay here separate with me. And just peel away my HP like mad. End him. I find that I just keep going to many different stairways at the moment. Yeah, they can 
come back on us quite nastily in some respects. Treasure chest over there? Doesn't look good for me, does it? Maybe I'll just end them. So it takes me not long to get my burst up again, so you can use that coil. After all, I'm already at 30% full again. There's still more of them. I haven't got my boost gauge up now. Probably best for me to shoot them through terrain. Not them getting too close. Oh, and that treasure chest. Seems to be reached from dropping down that big hole. I don't think that guy lived that long. I've got my boost again. Yes, my strength down and my defense goes down. That's what that ability is. I'd say that's got to be a way forward. So I've got to fall down that big hole now to get that chest that I spent like 10 million years unlocking. It looks like that's the route, doesn't it? Luckily, I went this way first, though. At this point, it would just be nice to reach more save points. Big wide arc of attack really helps me just lay into them there. I'm to it. Six figures SP. Get out of here. I'm taking this. Required the obsidian key. that guy before he gets to cast any more. There's probably another one of those enemies on the way up. Nope. Another treasure chest for coming all this way. We cried the silver dress. Now we're looking good. So our ultimate gear. A white dress woven with a clary of thread. Blessed by the goddesses. Seven more defense added to our total. We'll upgrade it for an extra plus one. Because why not? Yeah, our route forward is this way. Every enemy, I think, was defeated on these screens. Of course, you end up finding your goodies in the last levels, don't you? There's me wanting to end one of these guys as fast as possible. That's just one way to do it. Still more of them, but less than we previously were fighting. Okay, it got a statue. Don't tell me right before another boss. The crystal's power purified the demon statue. Alright, accept the divine blessing. The armor costs 12k to enhance. Do you really do you think it's a plus one? Alright, I'm going to increase item drop right now. Just so it's done, it's out the way, and that's sorted as well. 
I wonder if, like, New Game Plus going to the other things, do you get these blessings carried over? Because that would, of course, make you pretty good. I'm not boost recovery. Skill recovery would be best? Oh, 80k. I guess I'll get rid of bad thing effects, because I am getting cursed now. The effects of herbs for increasing my HP. And we'll leave it at that. We've got most of this top list done at the very least, because we've got to find some boots to level up too. Of course there's a boss. Well, what is this? Who are we fighting now? Shall I wait for my boost gauge to go up? It goes up so slow. Now that I've got a killer attack that I can actually just like boost and then nuke them on it. it takes a while for it to build up after all. To be honest, I'm... Um, mm. Just a note, I'm so close to another level before I even do that boss. That I probably should claim it. Confuse? Didn't know they had that. Like, if I run up and down here, like, a couple of clearing the packs there will get me another level, which, of course, is a stat boost. Plus, I get my X gauge up, so... Get that level. Get that power. That's my X gauge up. I'll be in battle around curse again. Oh, there's a level up. Nice and simple gain and loads of SP in no time at all spent. Only two wipeouts and I got what I wanted. If you're that close to a level, you may as well pick it up. So whatever we beat here will allow us to go inside that mirror, I'm pretty sure. What the? The tower, what's happening to it? If a boss is even here. People will be in a panic now. No hiding that. What in the world is going on? Dallas started the ritual, of course. You! Long time no see, Unica. I'm honestly kind of surprised you made it this far. You must have gotten a lot better with that accent the last time we met. I choose to ignore that comment if you tell me more about this ritual. Don't 
know all that much about it myself, honestly. Or rather, I heard all about it, but didn't really understand a word. The general gist, though, is that when it's finished, that flying shrine of yours is going to come crashing down. Solomon's shrine is going to fall! But why? Beats me. Dala says it's so he can make the demonic essence complete or some such thing. And then the age of the darklings will begin. That's the only part I do get. Naturally, I like the sound of it a lot. I, I'm not going to let that happen. Hmm, well, you don't have a whole lot of choice anymore. You're pretty much too late. We already caught the other goddess. Lady Rhea! Does that mean you have the Black Pearl too? Black Pearl? I guess you could call it that. Hell of a lot bigger than any pearl I've ever seen, though. But yeah, we have it. Dallas took it from the goddess to use in the ritual. No. <laughs> guess you East Folk lose. Too bad. So what do you say? You in the mood to finish our fight now? I'll bet you're pretty mad at me. Might do some good. <coughs> well, I won't be holding back, so you better be ready. Oh, I'm ready. Are you? I'll be damned if I let you stop me here. Who knows what new abilities she might have? She's only doing five damage! I think you terribly misunderstood. Oh, she does more damage with skills though. Maybe I don't want to underestimate her. I can only get one hit with that. And she puts her guard up for multiple hits. Nice rising attack there. Because it's almost like everything's a bit too small to really fight against it too well. It's weird as well because you've got that kind of positioning going on. Like everyone's like trying to space themselves out, which is kind of cool. Wait, did she go crazy mode? Whoa, she has. Do I just have to wait this out? I'm being boxed in a little bit here. I think I can do damage to any of them. Perfect. If I got all three of them, I'd have been she'd, have been... she'd have been so dumb. She'd have been roasted. Just trying to get a spin in every so often to get some damage in. She got a lot faster with that though, however. I like that though. The jumping around, the spacing. Damn. I can't believe how strong you've gotten. I guess I should have trained a little more before confronting you. I've got to hurry. Wait for me, Lady Rare. I'll set you free, somehow or another. Is this the key to the mirror? Oh, and what's this now? A magic artifact. It might come in handy. Sorry, but I'm taking this with me. Acquired the rod. Opponent is unconscious. No, nope, we don't chop people's heads off while they're sleeping. We'll keep them alive. First try, well, we're obviously of a good level and a good gear level, too, is what I'd say. To be able to face things off. Because I've been fighting what's in front of me. And that nice bit of grinding early in the game. That's for sure. Increased movement speed would be insane. I think haste and stip skill recovery will be what I want from now on. But I think we're going to have to bring our session 
to a close as we continue on, which is interesting because after seeing that, I can see that actually, even though you might be going through this tower several times with different characters, the story might deviate quite a bit between each character that you go through with, considering they seem to take their own route through the place, so it could be an interesting playthrough to get through every single route. But will I be able to do it in time? That is the question. Shortly, very soon, We'll be at our final boss. We're so close at this point. After all, just three save points remain before between us and there. Let's get through our mirror domain next time. And I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye. <laughs>